Hi, I'm Katie from Ski Goddess and I'm here to help you find the inner Ski Goddess in you. So through the previous lessons, we've understood some theory. We've got some sensations to be practicing and to notice in our daily, daily lives. Um, but the thing that we need to think about, the glue that brings it all together, is something that we're going to teach you in this lesson here. Um, and I think all my ladies and myself included say that we want to feel and look graceful on our skis. Well, this is the answer and I have a little treat for you in store for this lesson today. It's all about rhythm. Rhythm is a ski goddess, the beep will help you progress. You can feel it on the snow. But seriously, rhythm is the glue that holds all your ski turns together. Um, so I've dressed up in pink and blue my ski goddess colours for you today um, because it's music day. Um, we can use music to help us get into the rhythm. Um, you know, you've seen people who maybe you, who do that uh, whole ski to the side of the piece, ski to the side of the piece, and then turn, ski to the side of the piece, ski to the side of the piece, and then turn. The trouble is with that, you just don't get into a flow. So every time you actually do get round to doing the turns, um, it's kind of like starting your first turn, which quite often is the hardest turn, right? It's quite clunky to get going. So you're doing that every time, all the way down the slope. So the tools that we've used, we've been thinking about beforehand, so pressing on the ball of the foot and then relaxing your joints at the end, they need to move straight from one into the other. And then you're just creating a pattern and your body, your biomechanics can deal with that a lot better than stop, start, stop, start. So how do we practice this at home? Well, you can just visualize yourself uh, skiing to music, getting that nice flow going, um, or if you want, you don't have to do this, um, but I find uh, if I just practice actually skiing to music and I notice that Adele or rolling in the deep is very useful um, and I just start my turn at the start of each phrase Use the music to tell you when to start each turn. And then I know I'm starting at the same time each turn and I can get that rhythm and flow going. Short turn. So if you practice yourself, visualize yourself uh, skiing to music, that's one that, thing that really helps with your rhythm and flow. Um, and just knowing that you're going to try and link those C turns together, moving from one turn to the next, will have you skiing like these guys in no time. hope you enjoyed that. So yeah, just getting into the rhythm and flow. A really good exercise that you can take with you on holiday. Uh, if you haven't got music, um, you have your own rhythm, rhythm machine built into you and that's your breathing. Very important thing to do when you're skiing as well. Um, so you can use it as a timing device and it's really good for your first couple of runs as well just to get you nice and relaxed. Um, what I tend to do is I start my turn breathing in and finish breathing out. Start my turn breathing in, finish breathing out. Top little trick to take on holiday with you. Enjoy. <laughs> 